Hello, Gemini. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. How are you guys? So this particular reading will be focused on the first half of August. And I'll be using both of these decks here, the Relationship Design Cards by Sister Moon Tarot and the Angels of Romance Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. And I'll go ahead and clarify with my own tarot decks. All right, guys. So general advice, as always, please keep that in mind throughout your reading. And only take the parts of it that do make sense for you, release the rest. All right, let's go ahead and see. So we have attraction coming through here, secret admirer, beauty, undeniable, and attraction. Let's go ahead and grab another here. So you might have somebody that's very attracted to you, Gemini, and you don't even know it. Or you're admiring someone from a distance and they don't know it. Okay. Ooh, we have caution coming through, though. What is up with that? So warning, vibes, stop. It could represent red flags, perhaps, Gemini. Maybe you're ignoring the red flags or, or they are. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify with tarot here. Oops, I just hit my camera. Sorry about that. So I'll be pulling from my tabby tarot teacher here. What's up with the warning sign? We have the four of wands. Okay, so that can sometimes represent a twin flame connection, Gemini. And of course, you guys are the twins of the Zodiac. But it's coming up in the reverse. So instead, instead of a celebratory type experience, this is coming through as an unhappy one. Maybe you're unhappy that you're not with somebody or they're unhappy due to a separation perhaps or there's something that's preventing a reunion from happening. There's some sort of conflict coming through here. Somebody's doubting that this is a situation that can come back together. What's up with that? And now we've got the Ace of Swords. Okay. So... It could go one of two ways, Gemini. Either you cut someone out of your life or they had to cut you out. But it could also be that the distance or separation needed to happen for whatever reason. You guys might certainly still be very attracted to each other, though. And maybe you'll have a chance to find your way back towards each other somehow. I feel this needed to happen. This was a separation that needed to happen. Somebody needed to walk away. Somebody needed to let go. And somebody needed to be cut out. But I feel it was necessary. It, it was a necessary change for the two of you. Not that you guys wanted to be in separation, but it was, I feel, a necessary parting of the ways. We have the Fool. Look at what's next. We've got the Two of Cups. You guys still love each other, I feel. It's mutual, Gemini. Between the two of you, there's somebody here that's still focused on giving this a second chance. Coming back together. Part of the problem, though, look at this. We've got the Seven of Swords. That is followed by the Eight of Cups. You see? One of you walked away because either one of you had an existing partnership. Maybe somebody, somebody could have been married here. Somebody was already in another relationship because it's coming through as cheating or some sort of betrayal. Somebody walked away from that. Ultimately knowing that perhaps it was a line that was crossed, a boundary that was crossed, that could have been what this caution was about. It's like, red flag, don't go any further, but maybe you both ignored it. You know, you desired each other, the attraction was there. Maybe, maybe. part of the reason why this literally says secret admirer is because you guys didn't want anyone else to know about it. Could have been a secret affair. 
That was challenging. Gemini. Challenging for sure. And now we've got the two of pentacles. So yeah, um, there was some juggling going on here, okay? And you know your role, your part in it, if you relate to this situation. It's too bad, honestly, because this comes down to two people who fell in love, who are very attracted to each other, but we might have a third party situation, meaning that somebody was already taken, obviously. Somebody was already maybe married or in a committed partnership, a long established relationship. And um, that's where the drama ensues. You know, that's where the warning signs come in. It's like, don't do it, don't do it. You might be very attracted to this person. You might even fall in love with this person, but it's not gonna end well. That's just how it's coming through. And for whatever reason, it's popping up the first half of August. So we'll see what's up with that, okay? Let's see. So let's continue to explore what this is trying to tell us here, Gemini. So if this is your story, obviously you already know that that's what was going on. What, what do we need to learn here? Angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini. All right, we've got two cards. Look at this. We've got regrets. Oh, my God. Okay, we have reconciliation. Regrets, thinking of the past and wishing things went differently. Absolutely. Reconciliation, coming back into union. Okay, okay. So this is difficult, honestly, the way it's coming through, Gemini, because again, as I felt in that first batch of cards, you guys had some real love, some emotions being exchanged there. It wasn't just the physical connection. There was, you guys were tapped into your heart space for each other. And um, these two cards make sense for me someone's thinking of what happened in the past and ultimately wishing perhaps that there was no third party so that you guys could just be together and love each other so is this ultimately even possible let's take a look angels and spirit guides please for gemini i'll be pulling from my tarot teacher the revised edition you both could be thinking, you know, what could life be like if we didn't have the third party situation going on? What would like life have been like if we could have just fallen in love and have been together, you know? Yeah, the tower. Okay. So we know and understand why the foundation was lost and why that needed to happen. We have the Six of Swords. These two cards together make sense for me because we have chaos and destruction, and now we have calmer waters. So this is very turbulent waters here, for lack of a better word, and more than likely things have calmed down because this either happened a long time ago or maybe you both have just made peace with what happened. Not that you're happy with the outcome, but ultimately accepting it for what it is, perhaps. And maybe you had no choice but to leave it behind. You had no choice but to move on ahead without this connection in your life. That's just what I'm getting there. What else for Gemini? And I don't know, maybe the first half of August time frame wise means something to some of you guys. Nine of Swords. What could have started off as a beautiful dream turned into a nightmare, Gemini. I'm ultimately feeling that this kind of leaves an empty space in your heart because it just did not work out. 
they feel it too. Between the two of you, someone's just not able to cope too well because you guys are not together. Maybe you both feel that way. But one of you guys definitely is thinking of reaching out regardless. We've got the judgment card coming through here. Yeah, it's like reconciliation and then the desire to fix something. Someone from your past is really still focusing on wanting to fix things. Is it even possible to fix it? Or is it simply the need to apologize for how things played out? Because sometimes that judgment card can represent someone from the past who wants to return to, to make amends. So if it's not actually to seek a reconciliation, it could simply be the need to find closure to ask for forgiveness, you know? Somebody's being guided to do this. Ace of Swords. Somebody needed to be cut out or do the cutting, you know? And you know what side of the fence you stand on there, Gemini. It's like facing the truth of a situation. There were just too many people involved here, you know. So at this point, it's more of a fantasy to have that reconciliation rather than seeing it come to fruition in the 3D, you know. This might have impacted a twin flame connection for some of you guys. But for some, it could have also resulted in a relationship that broke up because of infidelity. And it makes it so hard because it, it is coming through possibly as a twin flame connection. And there was just this lack of teamwork. Yeah. And then we're seeing the juggling with the two of pentacles. You know, certainly the ups and downs of the partnership and what it went through. So if you relate to this, Gemini, maybe this first half of August, there's just simply something that you're meant to take a look at why whether it's internal you know or maybe it's something that you need to just address in your life having to do with a past connection here and that's ultimately what's going to help you to simply move forward in your life you know so if there is no actual reconciliation there can certainly be peace absolution and to just be able to calm the waters. And that's exactly what the Six of Swords represents. You know, you've been through it. You've gotten through it. And now things are ready to take a new turn in your life for the better. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Nine of Cups. So at the end of the day, I feel this wish may not manifest itself in the 3D. A particular wish, anyway, when it comes to a past connection. But this is life giving you new opportunities, new chapters, new wishes to pursue. So in a way, Gemini, that in and of itself is a blessing as well. All right, guys, so I don't know who this is for, but that's what came through today. If you are in need of your own personal reading, I'd love to be able to do that for you. That link is down below in the description box. And of course, I will link the decks that you see here down below as well. Thank you guys so much. I will see you next time.